Let's go. Number A1 here. Right. <clears throat> database management systems are an important element of information management. Define it in database. A database is a where data is collected, organized, stored, and um, shared. Yeah, collection, organization, storing, stored, organize, analyze. Yeah, analyze. Oh, shucks. No, they're not. If it's just collect, organize, analyze, and store, a couple shared with relevant users. Well, sharing with relevant users is database management system, right? So, yeah, place your data is collected, organized, analyzed, and stored. Right? Database management system is a database um a, a database that is um, um modified modified is a good answer though yeah, modified would be a good answer is modified to allow for deeper analysis security and sharing of information yeah one type of database organization is hierarchical there's three other types of database organizations there's object oriented then there is um what do you relational and then the last one is um the one that google is using so when i have media in you know, you know, Hierarchical, object oriented, relational, and network. network. Yes, network. 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 Alright, state the way in which data is organized in two of the database organizations listed above. Alright, um, relational is easy to explain. Relational is a set of tables that are organized by a primary key and related to each other by a foreign key. Then object oriented is a set of records slash table that are related based on uh, functions or uh, data types. Yeah. Network kind of hard to explain. Network building. Network real hard to explain. Alright, these are storage and retrieval systems have undergone rapid changes over the past decades. Explain three ways in which data storage and retrieval have changed six marks three ways one the speed um but it said data storage and retrieval okay data was stored on magnetic media uh, previously but now it is stored on flash media which can um, store data faster and retrieve it Store and retrieve data faster. Store and retrieve data faster. Two in the speed. Next one is um capacity. Magnetic media had a um, lower storage capacity because of the finite amount of space on tape drives. However, and hard drive technology allow for greater storage now. Um three which is speed, capacity, and volatility, durability. No, no one's about which, how uh, about storage and retrieval has changed. So you can't put durability, durability, and then the storage and retrieval. You could say speed, capacity, and um, a retrieval would be, um, uh, you could say, if you could talk about cloud storage, it could be um, convenient with cloud storage, data, and be stored or retrieved easily by syncing to the cloud server whereas static and alone storage can only be saved in one location. Nice. Uh, part C. Healthy Babies Medical Center is a healthcare facility that provides free services for mothers and the newborn babies. Or so nice to have a scenario that is not like Oh, man, not about farm. Yeah, yeah not farm based or it's not, you know. Rural yeah, in a rural community kind of thing is like there's a health. We have healthcare facilities in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. So they're managed by a group of volunteer doctors, nurses, and midwives. The decision was made by the organization to use a database approach to register the user. There are two advantages of using a database approach rather than a traditional panel system. Okay. One, um, duplication is reduced because a database would assign a primary key to the yeah database will assign a primary key to the reg records reducing the chance of data duplication um to switching switching the database would be a lot easier because the record would be organized and queries were available all right
card so we need to drop carries data duplication we need to drop primary keys yeah so we can also talk about forms and reports now we're talking about databases your go-to would normally be queries forms reports and well you can talk about the tables when you talk about the tables primary keys will be a uh, yeah, yeah, kind of key point online three ways in which inaccurate data provided by mothers about their babies can affect the quality of care provided by the healthcare facility outline three ways in which inaccurate data provided by mothers about their babies can affect the quality of care provided it's marks Okay, inaccurate data. Um, three ways that inaccurate data provide. So they want an example. Yeah, they say three ways, but really and truly, what they want is three examples of how inaccurate data could affect the quality of care provided, or how three ways inaccurate data. The only way I could see answering this is given examples. You know, normally, when they say outline, they want some sort of inaccurate data provided by mother. Yeah, examples is it does it does it to go here. Yeah. So they could get the um wrong medication and be prescribed for the babies and results and that could result in adverse um that could cause sorry that could cause um cause allergic reaction that may affect their children's to the, yeah, the date of birth, yeah, date of birth could be a piece of inaccurate data. The date of birth of the child could cause the facility to set the wrong dates for backups and the booster shots, putting the child out at risk. And the three. Was another example inaccurate data what other inaccurate data they could put they could put the data bird the weight the blood type blood type okay the first one here is wrong medication wrong medication is not really this wrong, wrong condition wrong blood type uh, wrong blood type and cause wrong medication to be prescribed yeah so blood type will be a better answer there because I think of a piece of data. So data boy could be one, blood type could be one, and I wonder if they could, if they give the wrong name, what will happen, boy? If you have the wrong name, will it will it change anything? What can they get wrong by getting the wrong name of a baby? When a baby is born. Um, I really don't want to go with the wrong parent's name. I'll be wrong. I'll be wrong. Um, dosage. Well, hmm. the 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 mother's not going to provide the and, and the dosage. Wrong symptom can call the doctor to um have a wrong diagnosis and therefore prescribe wrong medication to a baby, which may cause harm. Yeah. That's the scenario there. Okay, good, 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 good. To a normalization is an important process in the design and development of database systems divided to normalization. Um this is the process of organizing a database so that it becomes more tolerant and is more efficient at um putting that organizing the data. Yeah. Um, they're fault tolerant, meaning that will have less errors and it will be more efficient, which is usually straightforward. Alright, the following table is a books table. There's a book ID, category ID, category title, and price. Okay, apply normalization to the above table and convert it to the normal form. It's not remarks, yeah, but quite straightforward normalization. Book ID, sorry. Let's create a book table. Book. You want to throw away any, any other marks now? Book ID would be the primary key, and then you have the price, and then you have the category id and then you have category you know, category id primary key here and then category title Ta-da! yeah i mean you could have put no no yeah you could have put book id and price and then category category id category title and book id so the category id could have been the either one could have the foreign key you know? so the category could be could have be as a foreign key for there or you could put book id as a foreign key for that one that one so you leave your cool that's the normal form there you know. we look how far normalization has come down and remember in them early papers when just to get our four marks, you have to, you have to be fighting down on the table. We should, we should be thankful. We should be thankful. Using the normalized database, write an SQL statement to output the ID of all books in category one. We will select. What do we want to select? Output the ID of all books in category one. So we want to select book ID. Do I want the title? Output the ID of all the books in category one. Okay. Book ID and category. We could take that from the book table. From the book where book ID is equal to one. Seven marks i am a believer of something you know where category id is equal to one even self category so let's look for book id and category id 
right. So select the book ID and category ID from the book table where category ID is equal to one. I I sign the giveaway box. I'm concerned now. Eight marks for this normalization and seven marks for this SQL. I'll be like back in my day. This would only be three marks. Okay, all right, okay. This is the three types of relationships that exist in relational databases. Now this paper is a dream. This paper is a, a, a dream, right? Just at one, two, one, one, two. Many, many, two, many. Ah, okay. Which type of relationship best describes the data in A part two on page seven? Is A part two. That data is unnormalized data. Now, which type of relationship best describes the data in A part two? Okay. This is one book could have no one category could be many books. Yeah, many categories. So one book, many to one, one to many. I guess they had to take it either way. Yeah, they did have to take it either way. It's one one category to many books, one to many. Um. All right. Next will be outline two benefits of enforcing referential integrity. Ah, oh, finally, a difficult question. Um. One, a new record um cannot be created with, with a um id that does not exist in another table and two when a record is deleted the id will be removed from both tables yep that is that